Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the middle of July. This is the 16th through the 22nd, but this is kind of like a mid-July reading, so whenever it resonates for you, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Um, keep in mind that if this reading feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading probably isn't for you. Okay, generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you will get to see it now. Otherwise, it will be revealed at the end. If you'd like a private reading, it's in the description box below. Well, some of you may think it may be walking away from something, okay? Maybe somebody has brought you down, they've stolen your energy, caused you to lose your focus. You could be leaving or walking away from a fire sign, doesn't matter what sign it is, but it feels like somebody has stolen your energy and you're lacking passion, lacking uh, concentration, um, and all you want to do is... is work together it's like you know what there's no togetherness left here so you may be walking away maybe you have to make some compromises to walk away communication is needed at this time Ooh, it could be a third party situation but whatever it doesn't have to be um this tells me that there's a lack of joy there's a lack of happiness in your in some aspect of your life there is something is not happy and you're thinking about just leaving it behind could be a third party situation okay you could be involved in a third party situation you don't know what to do this is midlife crisis mode somebody could be going through some sort of midlife crisis feeling quite alone um, there's a lack of growth in a, in a in a romantic relationship there's there's it's like i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it anymore so somebody is go, has a change of course right in front of them it's like this cycle, this phase of my life is over and I know that it's time and maybe destiny plays a part here. Maybe destiny says, you know what, the time is now, right now, because you aren't happy. You're not happy. You've been concentrating on this loss and it's been overwhelming. A overwhelming feeling of lack of love. There's, I'm not feeling the love. I'm, I'm just not. And the thing is, is I think the universe you know, destiny or whatever, this change of course that is happening, it is happening so that you can, you know, accept a new opportunity, find the opportunity that is meant for you, the two of cups that is meant for you. Happiness. But you have to accept the truth first, and somebody is not accepting the truth. They're not finding their power. They're not using their power. And they're not seeing things as clearly as they should. It's like, you know, it feels like there's a lot of confusion here, a lot of confusion over should I go, should I stay. What should I do? I think that your prayers are saying one thing, but your logical mind is saying another. And I feel as though all you really want is happiness. All you really want is this happily ever after. But if you're involved in a third party situation, a third party situation doesn't have to be sexual. It can be children involved. It can be anybody. It can be a friend. It can be 
parents, it can be lovers, whatever. I think there's the three is a crowd and it's causing some um, impact in your relationship. And you just probably want to walk away at this point. But one of the reasons you may be staying in this situation is because you don't, you fear growing old alone. And if you fear growing old alone, you might stay in a situation that is emotionally disappointing. But the fact of the matter is, is you have to find your power to remove yourself from it if it's emotionally disappointing, if it's draining you. You have to find the power to do that. So we're going to go ahead and zoom this in. Other people can see that you're not happy. Other people can see that you're, like, lonely. They can see that you're not content, that you are, you're kind of, like, shutting down your own awareness. This is lack of awareness, and this is lack of awareness. It's like you're aware, but you don't want to believe it, okay? You don't want to believe something. And, you know, we all go through that, so I'm not pointing the finger at you, Aquarius. There's not one person in this world that tries to deny the truth, okay? We all do it. So, but your challenge is, this is the challenge position, the wheel of fortune. Your challenge is accepting this change, allowing destiny to play out, not fighting destiny. This is a change of course. Allow it to happen so that you can be happy again. Allow this change to happen so that you can be happy again. That's your challenge. Okay? Now, this is, this is good luck. This is a lucky break. But you have to allow it. I mean, free will does play a part. A lucky break. Get it? Break. Okay, we're going to get some clarifiers here. I see that you guys have fear of growing old alone. But you do want to walk away. But, like I said, you need to find your power. This is power and this is power. But this is power not found. But this is finding the power. This is as above, so below. This is oneness. This is waking up. Being aware, lack of awareness to being aware, aware of the truth, shedding the old, being willing to shed the old, being willing to find those resources, use those resources, whether they're inner resources or outer, you know, internal, external, whatever they are. You find the resources to bring success to your life. You have to take action. Okay, this is you finding the power. to face your fears, to find love. You have to let go of something, though. This is the death of an idea. Take the time to let go, go through a period of recuperation, and then happiness will come. But you have to take the next step. You have to make a decision. Again, power, power, power. You need to find your power. The time is now. The time is right now for you to find your power. Change is coming. Change is coming, but you have to take the steps to do that. You have to take the next step. This two of pentacles is trying to find balance. If you want balance, you have to take the next step. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adapt. You have to allow it. You have to make a decision. There's a completion here with the world card and the wheel of fortune card. There's a completion of one long-term cycle in your life. Something that was long-term. Could have been a long-term commitment. Could have been a marriage that lasted for a long time. Could have been a job. Could have been schooling that you'd been in for years. Whatever. This is the end of a phase. The end of a cycle. It's the end of something that was long-term. And now it's time to begin a new phase. I mean, that is exactly what this is. There's a new chapter starting for you as long as you, as, as soon as you take the next step. Somebody could be moving out of the home. There's been a lot of family feuds. There's been fighting within the home. There's been discontent. And somebody needs to turn away. Somebody perhaps needs to move, whether somebody's moving out of your home or you're moving out of the home. This is a change in your home or your establishment in reverse. It's turning away from the discontent in the home, walking away from it, moving home, thinking about it, thinking about moving home. 
but afraid of what you're going to lose financially and not wanting to put in the effort. The thing is, is you're going to have to work a little bit harder. You might have to work a little bit harder to take care of yourself and to move, whatever. This reading will not resonate with everybody. Remember what I said. If you're in a happily ever relationship, you shouldn't be watching this. If this reading feels wrong, then it's wrong. If it feels right, then it's right. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here in the future. But again, this is over in the challenge arena. If you want wish fulfillment, if you want peace and you want serenity and you want renewal and you want healing, you have to let go of an old idea. You have to let that die. You have to let it end. You have to accept this new road. You have to take the steps. You have to allow fate to play out, not fight it. Don't try to control it. Allow it. Go with what you feel to find happiness. The challenge is allowing. You know what this is. You know what you want to do. But letting go is the hardest part. Because there's fear of growing old alone. That's what I see. Letting go of, re letting go of worry. Letting go of guilt. Letting go of anxiety. You need to be logical here. You need to make a solid, firm decision. You need to be decisive. You are the judge of your own life. Stand up for yourself. Do what's right for you. Find your power. Here there's no power. Here he's got his power. He's like, no, the power is mine. You find your power to bring happiness to your life. Something needs to end. There's an ending here. There's a death. There's a transition. There's a new beginning waiting for you. Major new beginning, okay? Major, 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 major. The world card is major. The star card is major. Major, divinely guided new beginning is being offered to you. They're saying, take it, take it. With endings, bring new beginnings. Rebirth, renewal. So you're being offered a chance for a whole new life here, Aquarius. Be logical. But you're reluctant to move on for something. You're reluctant to move on from something that is not abundant. It's not wish fulfillment. It's not happy. And the only reason you're not moving on is because you don't want to be alone. The fact that you can say that you have somebody, something like that, whether you're with this person or not, in your heart, you know, yeah, this is my partner, this is my partner. It looks like somebody is not enjoying, they're not enjoying the finer things in life. There's a lack of self-love, there's a lack of self-care, there's a lack of inner abundance because somebody is hanging on to something that is dead and they're being offered an opportunity for a new beginning, something much, much better that is brings peace to their life and fo will fulfill their wishes if they give it a chance. But you have to give it that chance. You have to find the strength and you need to like face your fears of being alone because you're not going to be alone. The devil, lies, manipulation, obsession, lust. The de anything the devil brings in is is a lie. Materialistic. Somebody could be staying in a in a situation for materialistic reasons. Self sabotage, sabotaging themselves. Because of who knows what reason. I mean, we're reading for thousands of people here. Y'all live in different lives. Y'all don't live in the same house. Okay? Somebody is sabotaging themselves by staying in a toxic, the devil is toxic situation. But it's, it's kind of comfortable, right? At least I, I am with somebody. But there's, there's a lot of fear. I'm not able, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm strong enough to walk away. I'm not sure that I have the courage and the confidence and the willpower to, to stand up to this lie that I know it is. You know what I mean? So you guys, you know, let fate take over. Allow this change to happen. All you have to do is go with it. Don't deny it. 
It's this, this is reluctant, the five of wands reversed, reluctant to let go. But once you do, you will find almost instant relief. Be careful, the truth will come out eventually. The truth will be revealed. You can't deny destiny for forever, what's meant to change in your life. Changes happen as you grow, as you get older, through experiences. That's how the Wheel of Fortune works. I mean, that's how destiny works. It's a change of course. There's there's changes that happen throughout your life that are meant to be. And you can't you can't wear a mask forever. The mask will come off. The Seven of Swords reverse is where the mask does come off. Somebody needs to take action. Act now, think later. Make this judgment call. Release the past. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Wake up and, and find enough self-confidence, self-worth, and self-respect to bring success to your life. Move forward. There's an opportunity for victory and success if you wake up and take action. So I feel like this is a week of realizing, becoming aware of this destined new path. It's destiny. It's destiny. It's meant to happen. This change that is happening, this desire that you have to move on is meant to be. Don't let your fears your codependent ways, this is codependency and fears reversed, get in the way. That's self-sabotage. Find your power to follow your heart. This is walking away, the very first card. That is walking away. That's turning your back on emotional discontent, something that isn't leading to wish fulfillment. And the next card is the Nine of Cups. You walk away and then you find it. Now, walking away can be in so many forms. That can be walking away physically, can be walking away emotionally, whatever. You have to find the power to do so because something is meant to happen so that you can find something better. Holding on, holding on tightly to something that you can touch. Yes, you can touch it. But it's not emotional. It's not fulfilling. It's, it's something that is materialistic or, or stable and secure. But it's not love. Anymore. So I feel like this is a week of becoming aware. There's a lot of awareness here. There's a change, of course, that is happening that is meant to be. Allow it. Don't fight it. Allow this change, of course, this end of a cycle, the world card, the wheel of fortune card, the death card, the star card. Come on now, the magician card. These are divinely guided changes that are happening. And if you fight it, it's going to be more of a struggle. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is the ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Well, that's a darn good question, isn't it? What does yourself really, really want, Aquarius? This?
a favorable outcome. And I know that it is. You have something wonderful waiting for you. I, I, I know that. It's obvious. A favorable outcome. Thank you for the beautiful outcome for this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. And you are lacking faith. I saw this, but I didn't say anything. Somebody is lacking faith in a favorable outcome. Have faith. Follow, believe in yourself. Follow your own path. But you're not. Not listening to your inner guide. Because it's safe wherever you're at, whatever. But on the other side of this destiny, on the other side of this, this wheel, this change, this whatever it is, there is something much more peaceful, harmonious, and meant for you. When was the last time I checked in with myself? For real. Talk to you later.